So welcome to another video guys, my name is Daniel and I'm in this video showing the cloth pod that will be bringing on the Across Norway expedition. The last video I was doing uh, like this, I show you the shelter pod that is here and this is going to be basically on the bottom of my backpack and the clothing pod is going to be on top and it looks like this uh, kind of a stacking uh, mechanism or, or system that I will be using uh, on the Hyperlite 4400 uh, backpack that I will be wearing. So, clothing is one of those categories where you probably could uh, save some weight and I surely could do the same here but I'm not sure if I'm gonna take some chances and I know Norwegian weather, it rains a lot, quite a lot on the big of the mountains and we could be caught in a storm uh, so, or it could be very very warm so, Okay, let's start with the clothing that I will be hiking in This uh, are very lightweight uh, hiking, it's meant, it's clothing meant to be uh, wearing for a long distance hike and for El Camino, the Santiago, I will be mostly bringing the same uh, set but I will be changing my shoes. If you've seen the uh, Jotunheimen uh, training uh, video you know that I will have been wearing the Olympus shoes uh, but I actually decided to go back to the uh, Ultra Long Peak 5 for the Across Norway um, and uh, it's mostly because I know that in the Camino is going to be more asphalt, more warmer and I think I will be the, will need the caution there instead of the high mountains in Norway. So I'm going to take my chance on the ultra low peak that are perfectly shoes. These are my, actually my second pair because in regular life I was, I'm using this pair here and this is what you can see is a bit bigger uh, it's a size bigger uh, the one that I will be hiking on because the feet expand as you walk the ultra long peak is on uh, zero drop I, will, I have been wearing a lot of zero drop lately to strengthen my knee and my ankle also for the future when I get older it's, uh, I think it's gonna save me wearing uh, the Alta Lone Peak, that's where I wear uh, also a regular pair and also been switching on the Army um, Armed Forces shoe with a zero drop winter shoe as well so that's gonna be uh, great now uh, the Ultra Lone Peak 5 uh, here has a different sole that it normally comes with uh, this cost me almost my like uh, like sixty dollars, so it was super cheap, and it's even cheaper now today because the new version has even come out. But the sole uh, is the soft sole air, and this sole is special because it's still zero drop, but it also has uh, a cushion gel uh, supportive here, and it also has on the front where it's more likely to get blisters on. Uh, especially here and some plantar fasciitis or uh, pressure damage could be also here depending on how much weight you will be bringing and we have a lot of experience uh, with that it has some art support so you feet stand stable and you also ha it has this antibacterial uh, fit and it has served me pretty pretty well so I will be using this in the future as well uh, my wife has the same because I have recommended her for her the shoe dries very very quickly it has the zero drop uh, it, it needs training that's why also I'm, I'm using it a lot in real life it has a wide toe so the, the feet doesn't feel pressed like this especially when you are walking and the feet start to expand it's very important that you have a wide toe box and you also have some gator uh, support and it's, it, it's on stone so if it goes to stone inside here you probably uh, it's gonna be pretty sturdy for a long 
uh, for some good uh, rock uh, walking. The traction is one of the best traction I ever tried, though it doesn't work well in winter time in, in snow and ice. It, the traction works very, very great in very slippery mud uh, terrain or uh, uh, dirt terrain. The sock I will be bringing on uh, on me are the long crew in Jinji sock. These are the shorter crew because I'm not sure where I put the longer crew. It's basically the same thing that this one in Merino wool, but it's, the long crew is, is warmer up to here. I'm not sure where I have put it. This, uh, this will be bringing with me perhaps some across Norway or perhaps El Camino, I'm not sure. Uh, but as you can see there are toe separator and uh, one of the most important thing about the Injinji sock is that it keeps fit on your foot, it doesn't slip around. I have tested a lot of socks in my life. I have tested the Darn Toff that are super popular in the hiking community with a lifetime guarantee. It slips, it's not doesn't fit uh, as good. I have tested the European version of the Darn Toff that is called the Falke or I'm not sure if they are European though but they are super popular in the long distance hike community, the Falke sock. It's mostly basically the same thing as the darn tough. I also try uh, synthetic polyester running socks. It stinks after, after a hike. And I have mostly used uh, in regular life, as well as I'm, I'm wearing now, I use the Ulvang Super. This fits the foot way better than the other socks I will uh, pre uh, talking about including the sports socks they are warm they are also cool might be a bit warm on the warmest day but they are super super good these socks uh, the Jinji are a bit more expensive and their might last even shorter than the Ulvang Super so the closest thing to the Ulvang Super is going to be the Jinji the only down of this is that I might get a uh, break, uh, especially in a long distance hike, and they are expensive. Okay. Uh, the hat I will be wearing, I have been having this for a long time. I ordered at the same time with the Gore Tex jacket from Stellar Equipment. I didn't like the jacket or the pants or the Gore-Tex jacket from Sterile Equipment but I'm keeping the hat. The hat is a super light, very comfortable hiking hat. It dries very quickly, you can put it on water in warmer days and it keeps you protected from the sun. And very bad hair days. <laughs> anyway, uh, the hoodie is the Northern Playground hoodie. These are in large, I'm a medium, so it's a one size bigger. Northern Playground, and it's a uh, ecological merino ul uh, hoodie. Uh, it's very tight sitting, so if you put the hoodie on, it's gonna move with your, uh, with your head and it's not gonna stand in the way. Is super uh, fresh uh, on very sunny days and it's also provided with a bit of warm in the warm days and it dries super quickly. It's super super uh, comfortable to wear and it's also treated with uh, permi permitrine I think it's called spray against the bugs because it's so thin it, the bugs can actually reach your skin so that's why it smells a bit of spray. The shorts I will be bringing are also expensive as well as the sun hoodie, but I will be bringing this on both El Camino and um, across Norway. These are some very lightweight running shorts. Nike Runflex 2-in-1. It has a liner, a very compressed liner inside that's going to be serve me as my underwear. And it's compressed because if you are sore for walking a lot of distance hike, when you are finished in the hike and when you wake up in the morning, it's not going to be 
as stiff to start walking when you are using compression uh, tights. It might not be very comfortable, you might perhaps get some more chafing out of it, but uh, this is kind of the pair I will choose from. Uh, and it serves me very very well. After three days I will probably uh, or <laughs> after a couple of days perhaps I will change this and wear a normal underwear and a, a long pant just to wash this and, and keep things rotating. Uh, my gloves I will be hiking in is the a hike uh, cycling uh, 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 gloves have some protection here from falling it's good also if you need to do some uh, if you fall uh, uh, or something like that if you need to support yourself it, it actually works very good uh, it protects you from the sun from the bites from insects perhaps I think you can dry yourself uh, in a very warm day but I got this because on the last uh, training I didn't have the gloves and I was getting uh, a bit of a chafing blistering here from the trekking poles and the, after this this hasn't been uh, an issue at all. So these are super lightweight and very cheap and very good. Then it's the pod. The pod uh, are the things I might don't get. I, I, I will take you and put outside of my backpack. Uh, I'll sound on my backpack if I know it's going to rain for example I'm going to put the rain jacket there uh, or a warm jacket depending on how the weather here it, it looks very bulky but uh, the things are here as is are very lightweight so it's, it doesn't really matter that I'm bringing this though I could probably drop two or three items in here because I really, really don't need that for across Norway. But anyway, I will bring in just in case. So these are the clothing items. When I get to the shelter, I can nicely put the pod there and I can open this. And I know that I have dried clothes inside here. So I have an extra pair of socks and these are the Ulvang Super. Um, just an extra pair compared to the Jinji. Um, uh, for walking if I need to wash the other one I will rotate with those socks are important so I will have two hiking socks not three actually but I have a, a, another pair that is basically serves a bit different these are the waterproof socks and I say it's not a hiking sock because it's, this is more of a, a, of a layering for the shoes when it's, uh, we get to like a rainy day for three or four days in a row. Uh, we need to keep the, the, the feet as dry as possible walking with the sock inside. It's very important to have a sock inside this kind of sock because otherwise you will get blisters. Uh, so this will, uh, the seal skin waterproof socks is for mostly when it's raining pretty quite quite a lot. I will surely take this on because you get very very quickly uh, wet in this and if you have, feet are wet 4% of the, four, 4 to 5 days in a row you better have uh, you need the option to keep your feet dry otherwise it's going to turn very very nasty and get you cold trench rainy wet feet that and nobody likes and your skin is going to uh, uh, get away from you or you're going to start to lose skin that you need a waterproof sock uh, the other pair of underwear I'm having here is the Saks underwear uh, for mostly when I'm using the, the long pants. I could probably use the, the, the long pants. Uh, Patagonia Terra Bonne, very lightweight, very very comfortable, lightweight um, hiking uh, outdoors pants. Also, uh, treated with permethrin 
uh, super super good they are not for any bushwhacking or bushcrafting these are pants for only hiking a long distance or being comfortable out in the field or at home or in the cabin or in the airport or town or wherever I'm gonna bring the, these ones with a pair of underwear as well now the jackets, the jack. This is our, our by the way, a, uh, ultra gaiters. I'm not. I'm probably not gonna use them on across Norway, but they are super lightweight anyway. I will probably, very probably, will be using these on El Camino de Santiago the next year. Now the jackets are the thing. Uh, I could probably lose one or two actually in this trip you, but you never know uh, or dealing with Norwegian weather it could change very very quickly and that's what I also experienced in my last expedition the rain jacket is a very cheap um, anti-gravity gear uh, rain jacket I'm only gonna bring the top uh, these are super, seal nylon super cheap uh, super uh, it's, it's, it has a very signal color, it's some seal nano, it, it smells like an old closed tent, so it's not the best jacket in the world. I actually have a different jacket for a Camino, but I'm gonna try this uh, here. I bought this first, but I even uh, because I, I lay out on a light equipment, I ordered the, the, the Visp rain jacket that is in a Camino, but I'm gonna try this uh, for Norge på Trash. Uh, if I get some kind of an emergency, I have the brightening signal in color, color. My wife also doesn't have a rain jacket. She's gonna be bring a poncho. So this is kind of a, a, a extra layer if she she needs uh, the jacket. And yeah, it's in its bag, so I can put it in, uh, on on the outside of the bag. This is a, a mid layer from the vault. This is a super warm, I have used it on the last training video as well as uh, late summer nights. Very, 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 very warm. It's kind of serve of a, as a fleece. It has its thumb um, for the pockets. I could probably just do without uh, only this jacket on this trip. So mid-layer is gonna be, go with me. But I know I actually used the mid layer with the puffy jacket that I normally uh, used on the last uh, training video. But this is not gonna go with me because this loses all the warmth if it starts to rain. And my wife actually didn't want me to wear this jacket on the trip because she actually has... She, she was missing a, a warm layer and I bought a toilet jacket for her and I bought one for me as well because I wanted to try it as well. The toilet jacket is a synthetic jacket uh, also with signaling color here. Uh, very very lightweight this is a ultra light jacket for hikers for sure it looked like a trash bag to me but <laughs> it's super super warm probably too warm but if it starts to rain and I get super super cold or uh, like uh, snow rain so so I can actually wear this as well I, in case of an emergency and I get super cold I could probably use both of it as well good jacket um, the only con I will say about this jacket is that um, this kind of withstand a bonfire Stay away from bonfires using this jacket. You can see what happened to this for only standing like I have the oven here and I had to actually fix this with a seam seal because he actually uh, uh, got uh, holes on the jacket. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring that, that jacket or not. Um, it doesn't take any space anyway so. The beanie is one also one of those things I might not will be using on the, this trip uh, but it's good to sleep with a beanie sometimes uh, especially if it is very light uh, in Norway it is you can actually use the beanie to just 
uh, have enough uh, dark to uh, to actually could sleep a bit because in Norway in summertime it's very very light you you really don't need a, a light or a torch for this so um, not a must have for this trip but I'm gonna bring him with me anyway and last but not least are the waterproof gloves uh, this is only there because it might get a lot of rain or very 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 cold then this will do the trick where the other gloves that I have will not do the trick when it's very very rainy uh, and wet these are not going to keep me warm but these are especially going to keep me warm and the pod is the 4400 large from uh, Hyperlite. It's a superb uh, way to organize things in Dyneema. Expensive, but uh, it also has served me well in in the in in my outdoors life for sure. So those are the the clothing that I will be wearing. Um, and you have seen my sandals as well for the camp and um, and, and the shelter uh, down booties that I'm going to be sleeping in. Not a must have, but but are there anyway. Especially when when my wife is a cold sleeper, I wanted to order something for her, and I ordered the same for me as well. So. I hope you like this video guys, uh, the next video is going to be a base camp camping video again next week and the next video after that is going to be then my cooking uh, pot that is going to be on the next uh, category on this pack. So uh, have a nice weekend and see you next week, bye!